How you doing, friends? I value each and every one of you. Well, maybe except for one. That's another thing. Okay, we're changing things again. It's not that I want to, but I just want to. I think it'll be for, uh, for the best all the way around. Uh, we had a problem with Saw. Saws do that. They have problems. Uh, Jesse Bills, Mastermind Saw. Remember when we built that? Well, he got that not very long ago. And apparently it developed a little problem. And he called me up. And uh, it's got a spark issue. I said, well, check this, check that, blah, blah, blah. And he said, well, it's a little low on compression. Are they real low? I said, well, they don't, you know, we don't do machine work to make them high compression engines. Uh, two strokes don't work that way. They build compression by the uh, RPMs and exhaust gases coming back in, you know, that the unspent, the fuel that goes back in the saw, that's where they build their compression. And uh, we all know that. Well, anyway, to make a long story short, I said, geez, I says, he says, well, no, I, I can go to a local dealer. I offered a, a coil. He says, I can go to a local dealer get one. Well, to make a long story short, I call a guy a couple days later. No response. Now there's a shit storm from that old PE forum. This is why I hate forums. There's a shit storm. And Monkey Man himself... I mean, Mastermind himself is the start of it. Without being informed on what's going on, he's jumping to conclusions. All right. We all have our opinions. Let's go with it. You can go on that OPE forum, and they got a thread about me. They did this a few months ago. Uh, if you're not one of them, you're against them. That's the way it is. This is why it is what it is. So now what I'm trying to do is... See what I can do to to make things right, you know, because that's what we do as people. And uh, if you got a problem with the saw, I stand behind what I do. You just need to give them a chance. Just pick the phone up, say hey, and I say hey, set it back. I don't have problems with saws. It's very very rare. Uh, but in the event that something happens, you pick the phone up, you give me a call, email me, do whatever, and I'll make it right every time. Honestly, and uh, people know that about me that know me well. And there's a bunch of you that know me personally. Well, you don't get them chances from some people. One of them's Jesse Bills, so he carries a saw to another guy that happens to be on this OPE forum. But he's also a man that owns his own saw shop and has for a long term. He took it apart and said, well, there's no work done. This is rumor here. I'm just I'm repeating what I was shown and told. There was no work done to the transfers. Very light work on the intake exhaust, and apparently some burrs were missed on intake or exhaust, and there's some piston scoring, and the cylinder was wore right out. It wasn't usable mm. in this man's opinion. Now, I trust his opinion. I don't know him personally. I know who he is, and he does know his crap. He knows what he's doing. Okay, so what happened? Well, transfers after I get done with them don't heal up now. You know, metal don't just show back up in place. So. You're not going to freaking wear one of mine out. And I use, you guys know, I use Highway. Five years ago, you know I wouldn't have. The last year, geez, it, it's gotten much better. Really, ha is it as good as OEM? Some cases you can't get OEM anymore. You really got two choices. One of them's highway. And uh, I choose to use them. It's a lesser of two evils sometimes. With good luck. But I'll stand behind them. But not with Jesse because he didn't give me a chance. So now we got these forum guys talking smack. And they're talking bad about me. And they're talking bad about Buck and Billy. And they're yakking amongst each other. And their lead guy is the one that's just... he. I picked the phone up. I called the man. You know what he said? He wouldn't listen to a word I had to say. He wouldn't let me say nothing. He called me a bag of shit. What the hell are you doing? It's a sacrilege. What have you done? Why would you use them Chinese pieces of shit cylinders? And hung the phone up. Wouldn't even listen to me. That seems reasonable. I wanted to get right to the source. So you see what 
this nut job's problem is. I don't know. So here's what we're going to do. I'm not taking any more sauce from people I don't know. And if you're not a logger or making a living with a chainsaw, I ain't doing it. It just ain't going to happen. Will you still get good video? Oh, yeah, you're going to. There are saws here that I've got. I've got a few apart. I'll get them together. I'll stand behind them. Call me first. Don't go to these forum guys. That don't help your matters none. If you're not happy completely, I'll make it right. Some of you that's got saws here, if you don't trust what's going on here, you let me know. I'll send your saw right back straight to you. Each one of you will get a hold of me. If I don't hear from you in a week, I'm going to mail your saw to you. Just the way it is. That's the way it is. Period and simple. I'm not playing this game. What does that do for the content for the channel? Everything. This has always been about showing you how to work on your own saws. I never never thought a thing about working on saws for you. You're going to get more of an education. Do you know how many saws is in this shop that are my personal saws? We have an eternity. Every logger I know drops saws off. Here, Darb, do something with this. Yeah, if you want that, you can have that if you can fix this other one, that kind of thing. We're not going to be without saws. You're going to see more. Those of you who want me to continue on, if you don't want to try the highway anymore, let's come up with some solutions. Let's work together on these problems. Uh, is that letting that forum win? No. No, it's not. It's avoiding it. You don't step in the fire pit because you know you can stop the fire out, do you? No. This is just something that has to happen. Does it change how I build sauce for other people? No. Those of you that's already got them and want another, call me. Email me. Good job. But if I don't know you, don't take this personal. I'm not getting burnt twice. Once bitten, twice shy, baby. Great way said that, didn't they? Yeah. You know. These saws, how he's building them, they need to go to people that know how to sharpen. Know what sprockets to run. Have been doing it for a very long time. Clean their air cleaners, what fuel to use. If you get somebody that just sort of in the backyard wants to play with them, they might not know how to do some of that. And that'll hurt them saws. They're not just stock saws. We all know that. So that's the other point of this as well, you know finding the right people to get these in their hands. These are logging saws. There's they're, The peak power is in the cut for loggers. This is what I build. I've said this for years and years. And if you run that with a dull chain, I don't care how long you run it with a dull chain, you're cooking that. Because when you increase horsepower, you increase BTU. That's what horsepower is rated on, is BTU output. If you get heat, you build it fast... It goes exponential. The, the faster you heat, the faster it builds more heat. Yeah, every cycle. Um, I can't control that. You're going to see some good content here, and I'm going to share everything I can. Keep on asking questions. If you need my help in the emails with a problem you got, I'll give you what I know. Do I know everything? Nope. Am I human? Yep. Do things happen sometimes to saws? Yep, they do to you too, don't they? The manufacturers, brand new, occasionally have a saw come back because of a part defect or, or, or whatever. Uh, but I don't get a chance or a say in this matter here on this one, and I'm pissed. I am livid at these forums. I am livid. So no more. Done with it. Don't want no part of it. I, before all this, was an isolationist. I didn't want to be around people. It's been that way since the late 80s. That's why I went into logging so hard and so deep. You know how many nights I spent out in the woods because I loved it? Do you know how many times I uh, had a little pup tent or a piece of canvas rolled up? When I got done working for the day, I was a mile and a half from nowhere. That, that's, that was my life back then. Uh, and it's just a good way to be. But, nah, let them talk smack. I've been plagued with bad comments for the last uh, 24 hours.
What are where those are coming from? Yeah, well, we, they're coming from the forum. Yep. Fab Baker, thanks, buddy. He's the first one to clue me in that these guys were uh, uh, all over this, whatever the problem is. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. If Jesse will send me that cylinder and piston, I'll refund his money. Is that fair? Is that what you would want me to do for you? Yes, it is. It better be the one he sent you and not know. I'm going to tell you if I can get that cylinder back, it ain't be the one I put on that saw because it didn't wear out in one freaking hour. I know it didn't. But it's a whole setup deal. So what? Did they win? No. No. I'm in this for the long run, gentlemen and ladies. But no more saws. Not from other people. Okay. I know you're not going to like this in the comments, but learn how to work on your old stuff. If you want a reputable builder... I'll recommend Mastermind. He's the only one on this planet that knows what he's doing. And the only one that knows how to get all the right parts. Everything about everything. Okay. So you go there on that forum, just like they're coming in here on my channel and leaving rude comments. You go on there forming, but you be respectful. If I hear one of you guys we'll went that. on there and then ask questions, that's all you got to do. Okay, forums are supposed to be for everybody. Ask questions. Do not be rude. Don't stir up a shit show. Be polite. Show them who you are. Yep. That's why you guys are here. Okay. Kind of people. We will have good content. Let me know what you want me to do with your sauce, guys. Email me, phone call me, do whatever. If you uh, have faith, want me to continue right on, we'll go through some different options if you want some. Um... I'll stand behind it all the way. Okay, that's it, guys. Goodbye.